Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Estevan. My name is Travis. And we're with All American Print Supply. Today we're going to be setting up the brand new Epson F3070 Direct-to-Garment Printer. If you're not familiar with this machine, make sure you check out our last video and go ahead and drop a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome printing related content. Our first step, what are we going to get going doing first? Our first step today is going to be unlocking the print head carriage. That's right, there's hardware outside and inside of the machine that keeps the printhead carriage safe and secure during transit, and that's the first step we gotta do. The Epson F3070 direct to garment printer comes with two print heads. This allows for almost simultaneous CMYK and white printing. During transit, those print heads are secured with hardware on the exterior and interior of the printer. This is to ensure safe travel so there's no movement during transit. To gain access to the exterior hardware, Travis is going to use a Phillips head screwdriver and to remove these four bolts so we can go in and make our adjustments. Action. Now that we removed the bracket on the outside, it's time to remove the bracket inside that's holding the print carriage. Now that we removed the lock for the carriage, we have to remove the lock for the platen carriage. It's right here inside. Now that we've successfully removed all the security hardware, keeping the moving parts in place, it's time to connect the bulking system. The Epson F3070 has a groundbreaking setup here, combining the savings of bolt bags with the security and protection of filtration and microchipping you'd see in a cartridge. Travis is going to go ahead and connect the tube to the printer, and then we're going to install the cartridges. All right, everyone, we are making progress. Now that we've removed all of our security hardware, connected our bulking system, and attached power plugs to both parts of the machine, it's time to set up the printer using the on-screen controls. We're gonna go ahead now and make our language selection options. Go ahead and our, pick our date format. Enter today's date. Time format. Go ahead and fix our time so that's nice and accurate. You're going to have the option for either the traditional American feet and inches or metric. For our purposes, we're going to use the American system. Same thing with Fahrenheit and Celsius. So it's telling me right now that the platen is not in the media loading position. So we're going to go ahead and press OK so that we can move this into position. Make our little adjustment here and proceed on with the on-screen controls. At this time, the printer is now asking us for, to uh, install the ink cartridges. So we're going to go ahead and get our bulk bags, load them into the tower. We're going to lock the switch. Now that the Epson F3070 has prompted us to begin loading the ink bags, it's time to get this system filled up. This printer is utilizing 
the savings of a bulk system and combining it with the security of cartridge filtration and microchipping. In addition, this system is almost foolproof in that these ink color specific groove channels will only allow you to position them in the correct drawer. Let's start loading it up. And these groove channels will always make sure that you load the correct ink color in the correct ink slot. Now that we've successfully installed our bulk bags into the Epson F3070, it's time to begin the ink charge. If you have not done so already, the printer will remind you to go ahead and install your waste bottle so you can collect any sort of discharge that comes from our waste tube and make no mess in our work area. Thank you, Travis. All right, now that we've loaded all of our ink and charged the printer, it's time to do a head alignment. Now many times these machines do ship well from the factory as far as how the heads are positioned, but it's always good before you begin production, after you've set it up, to go ahead and do an alignment yourself, make sure everything's on point where it should be. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the menu button, and go over to media settings, print adjustments, and then we're gonna start with the print head alignment. We're gonna go ahead and select standard, and then dark media. Now for our print head alignment, we're gonna go ahead and use this pre-treated dark garment. We're gonna actually print the information on the shirt. That way we can make sure everything's in a good position. And now we're gonna print. Okay, very good. Now we have our information so that we can perform our head alignment for dark media. The printer is gonna ask me which line is the best in print A, group number one, Let's take a look. Travis, which one do you think is the best one? For the first one, I think it's minus, minus two is the best one. It looks very thin. It looks like it's just one line, one single line. Okay, so negative two looks to be the straightest line, so we're going to go ahead and tell the printer which one was the best. Negative it was two. negative two. Make sure you don't mix up your negatives and positives. They are different. And then now we're going to move on to the next assignment. And we're gonna repeat this same process for each one of these prints, letting the F3070 know which one was the best so that it can adjust its head alignment so we get perfect prints when we get started. Next one, negative two looks the best for me. Okay, I agree. A single line. Go to negative two again. Now we're going to assignment C. Assignment C, I will go with negative one or negative two. Is it negative two? Yeah. Okay. It's good to have an extra set of eyes as well so you can get that second opinion. What I may see as the best may not be the best, so it's always good to practice teamwork, especially when you're setting up a big printer. Going on to assignment D. Negative two. Okay, so it looks like we got negative two across the board for this one. That happens. Now we're moving on to assignment 2A, which is going to be our next column here. I will go with zero or negative So on this one, the group decision was negative one. Zero. Zero looks pretty clean. I think so. Zero for assignment B, so we'll leave that as is. Assignment C. Negative one. Negative one. Assignment D. Negative one or zero. This is zero. Okay. Uh, you know what? Negative one. You're right. Negative one. Now we're moving on to assignment three. A. Got another negative one. Next number, C. Negative one. Yeah, looks very clean. Negative one. 
Okay. Now the last assignment here. Zero or negative one? I'm going to say zero. It looks like negative one has a slight overlap in the middle. Got it. Zero does look good here. And again, we're looking for the best line. Some of them may mirror or ghost, where they're kind of skewed and you see multiple. We want to see the very best print line. Zero negative one. Negative one. Negative one. And our last one will be a zero or a negative one. I would say zero. Zero? I'm gonna go zero on this last one. So now we're just confirming the print head alignment based on the information we provided. Go ahead and send this. Print head alignment complete. Changes are reflected from the next time we print. Now that we've completed our dark media head alignment, it's time to do the light media. So we're gonna go ahead and load on here a nice smooth white t-shirt. Then just go ahead and select light media. It'll bring you back to this menu after you do the dark media. Confirm the alignment uh, pattern we printed. We send the job. There we go. We have our light media head alignment check here printed on our white smooth t-shirt. Just like we did on the dark media head alignment, we're going to go through each of these assigned boxes. We're going to let the printer know which had the best line quality. Again, we don't want any ghosting. We want the sharpest, straightest, cleanest line for each one. Once the printer knows which one is the best, it'll go ahead and align the heads so we have perfect prints when we start production. Let's start taking a look. Print head alignment is completed. We've performed our checks for our dark media, our light, light media. We're gonna do a nozzle check now and then we're ready to start producing. To perform our nozzle check, all we're gonna do is press our menu button, scroll down to maintenance, and our first option here is gonna be print head nozzle check. This is a great nozzle check just by looking at it right away. I can see I have complete line connection. There's no breaks in any of my color channels. Take a look here. I like to put my nozzle check directly on the clear pat platen so I may see the white and the color. But as I look at this closely, I see there's no breaks. The F3070 will ask you to confirm, did you get a clean nozzle check or were there breaks in the lines? Depending on what you see, you're gonna let the printer know right here on screen. Ours was good, so we're done. But if there were breaks in the lines, you are able to address those with individual head cleanings on either selected or all nozzles. Whew, that's it, we did it. Yep, we did it. We just took you through the full installation of the brand new Epson F3070 direct to garment printer, available now at dtgmark.com. Visit us online for more information, but man, this, this was actually made a lot easier because this machine has kind of built-in visual animated sequences. Yeah, it made it really easy. Absolutely. But it's a great printer, can't wait to get you guys set up with one of these. Be sure to drop a thumbs up if you like this video. Any questions down below in the comment section. And be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome printing related content coming up. But we killed it. Killed it. My What's name up? is Esteban. My name is Travis. And we're all American Print Supply. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.